Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers, and this one is interesting to pretty much all game developers, because this has courses for pretty much every major game engine out there, Godot, Unreal, and Unity. If you're looking to learn any of those game engines, this one could be a good pickup for you. It is the Solo Indie Game Dev Essentials Bundle, and this one is from Game Dev TV. Now, I've always liked their stuff in the past. Uh, their courses are quite good. Of all the online learning materials out there, they are some of the best ones. Obviously, this is a little bit more orientated towards the beginner in this particular case, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. So without further ado, let us jump in and take a look at the bundle. As with all Humble Bundles, this one is organized into tiers. Well, I guess I can't say that because recently they've been doing single tier bundles. But if you're looking at the $1 tier, uh, frankly, everything we've seen here, we've been in a previous bundle, uh, the math for video game uh, courses and the Git, Git Smart courses, which is very hard to say, by the way, those have both been in previous bundles. But if you're looking for a math course, uh, a $1 tier there, that's a pretty good pickup there. Uh, the median or average price tier, frankly, no one's going to buy it because they never make any sense. But if you decide you wish to, you're getting pixel art fundamentals, 2D game art bite-sized courses, and finish it motivations and processes for game developers courses. But the reality is this is the bundle you're going to buy. It is USD $25. Some of these have definitely been in previous bundles. So make sure you don't already own the courses that you are interested in. But I think the one that a lot of you are going to be interested in is this guy right here, the complete Godot for game developer 2d online course is part of this bundle on top of that we also get unreal engine blueprint game developers course and the unity 2d rpg starter kit complete game template the low poly landscapes blender bite-sized course bite-sized courses of course are smaller courses that's why they are bite-sized the pixel art environments 2d environment design and animation course the complete drawing course the Indie uh, Game Success Roadmap course, the Indie Essentials Placeholder and Level Layout Kit. Uh, these are assets, by the way. The Indie Essentials uh, Character Collection NPC Assortment and the Indie Essentials Collection The Berries. I'll show you uh, these three guys later on. Uh, they are available as Unity assets, in some cases also as FBX versions. All of this is available up on the uh, Game Dev TV site. Basically, you get three redemption keys depending on which tier you got. So if you get the highest tier, you get three redemption keys, get you all of the stuff that is uh, listed here. Uh, with Humble Bundle, you decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose. And thank you so much if you do to help support Game From Scratch. So you're going to need a uh, Game Dev TV account. Once that's done, you redeem the key, and then everything that you saw is available over there. For example, let's go check out the Godot course. Get an idea of what you're dealing with here. So their courses, they use Teachable, I believe is the software behind the scenes. It is a solid course. Their instructors seem to know what they are talking about. Here you can see how this course is structured in this particular case. So you're going through simple things like the interface, creating a project, and so on. And then you're getting into an actual game example for creating Speedy Saucer, and then Alien Attack, a different uh, game course there, and then another one, Martian Mike, and so on. Each one of these courses, as you can see, they track where you were previously. They have their own video video player embedded in and I will pause that one right there. Uh, there are resources available. So if there's more to learn from or uh, changes to the project from the previous versions, etc., they are all linked in there as well. So it does track where you are working from. Uh, I generally find, again, their courses are well made. Uh, I do generally recommend Game Dev TV stuff. Again, I'm always curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Game Dev TV stuff. Now, a thing to keep in mind with this particular course, now you're seeing a lot more in this uh, this list of my courses because I've done a lot of these game dev TV things, uh, but you will notice the contents or the assets actually show up as courses as well. So for example, the uh, here, the characters, placeholder level stuff, it's available here. It looks like it is any other course. So example, you come in here to download the lessons, you start the thing, and here you can see the FBX files are available as a zip, or you can get a Unity package. If there's only a Unity package and you're working in another platform, don't worry. I've actually got uh, some tutorials. I did like a one-click Unity package to Godot tutorial recently, shows you how to use Unity packages inside of Godot. But in this particular case, you're also getting the raw FBX files. Let's go take a look at them this one is the berries this is a collection of monsters um i'm not sure what all you would do with it there are a bunch of uh, monsters made out of various different components you can see down here uh, they are fully rigged and animated which is interesting because the other one isn't so that is the monsters available right there so let's go out of the indie creatures i think it's the placeholder pack that most people will be interested in but let's go take a look at the essential characters first and here you can see uh, again, if I play this, there's no actual animation on them. They're all in T-Pose, so setting them up to use something like Mixamo animation should be pretty straightforward. Well, this is a collection of 
low poly style characters and then accessories to work with them uh pretty straightforward so if you need some characters for developing your game that is what this pack is all about and then the prototyping pack or the placeholder pack is probably the most useful so if you're um you know just trying to uh mock up a game or whatever this contains all the assets you see here for prototyping in a level rapidly so it's a bunch of you know, raw primitive type thing for snapping together a level. You can see an overview of it over here. So here are all the various different pieces that go together to make the placeholder pack up. So if you're looking again uh, for uh, prototyping programmer alternatives, uh, that is basically what this pack is providing you. Can they be used commercially? Yes, they can. They just cannot be used as... Um, uh, you can't sell them as assets, obviously. So you can use them in your own game, commercial or otherwise. You just can't redistribute them as assets if you're interested. So that is the three asset packs that are included in this as well. Again, everything is redeemed on gamedev.tv. Uh, their platform, again, is using Teachable. I do like what they've done here. And you kind of got uh, a, kind of an entry-level Godot, an entry-level Unreal, and an entry-level Unity package here, uh, plus some you know art stuff. Let's go back to the bundle itself. So you got Godot, Unity, and and Unreal Engine all covered in this particular bundle. And you got pixel art, low poly art, and drawing here as well. And then of course, some uh, some character packs here, and then another pixel art course here, and then just some general development such as Git and you know design process for your whole thing. And then one on game development math. A pretty good uh, roundup of courses here. Again, I do like Game Dev TV stuff, but I do question you guys once again, what do you think of Game Dev TV? Um, stuff in general. What do you think of this bundle overall? By the way, if I sound a little bit different, I'm actually on vacation, so I'm recording this with a different mic than what you normally see. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the solo indie game dev essentials bundle by Game Dev TV. Uh, if you're using Godot, Unreal, or Unity, they got you covered. If you're a pixel artist or a polygon artist using Blender, they got you covered there as well. Let me know what you think of this particular bundle. And I will talk to you all later.